Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another Madden 25 video today, of course. And today's video is going to be a continuation of the Madden's rating week. Um, so today's video is going to be about the, to uh, the top 10 running backs in Madden 25. So this is just going to be the regular uh, Madden ratings. This is not Madden Ultimate Team. All that the Ultimate Team stuff is going to be at a later date. This is just the regular mode. Um, so, of course, if you don't know already, um, Christian McCaffrey is going to be the 99 running back for this year. Um, of course, the cover athlete, he's going to be pretty much the 99. So CMC is back in EA Madden. 99 Club is the first running back in team history to earn the honor. So for San Francisco, shout out to San Francisco. Um, that's a, an achievement and a milestone for CMC. So shout out to CMC. Um, so he is going to be a 99 in this year's game. Um, but we're going to be going over the top 10 running backs. We're going to see um, the database to see what the other backs are as far as their overalls and stuff, what they are. And let's see if there were any snubs or anybody else. So let's check it out. So as you can see the image on the screen here, top 10 running backs. Um, of course, number one, Chris McCaffrey, 99 overall. Um, number two, Nick Chubb, 96 overall. Um, we got number three, which is Derrick Henry, 94 overall. Um, not, uh, at number four, we got Saquon Barkley at 92. And then we have Joe Mixon at number five with a 91. Uh, Travis Etienne at number six at a 90. Um, Josh Jacobs at an 89 overall. Um, Kenneth Walker with an 88. Uh, Aaron Jones with an 88. And then Isaiah Pacheco at an 87. Um, so that's going to be your top 10 um, running backs in game. Um, I agree with the first. Well, of course, Christian McCaffrey. After that, like they can, you can really flip-flop and switch a lot of players around because Nick Chubb, like I said again, he was a great back when he was on the field, but he just keeps getting hurt. Um, but I can understand why he's he's as high as he is because if he stay if he stays healthy, he he is the best running back in the league, or he, he is the second back in the league, second best back, or he will at least contest Christian McCaffrey. So I can understand that Derrick Henry, still great back, had a little drop off last year, um, but still was a great back. I honestly, and a lot of people may not agree with me. I, I will put Joe Mixon a little, a little bit higher. Even I'll probably put Joe Mixon in front of Saquon. I'll be honest with you. And honestly, Josh Jacob, Josh Jacobs, I feel like he should be higher as well too. Even though, like I said, both of their teams were, were some shit last year, but it wasn't even because of them. It was because of injuries and all that stuff. But um, I think the list is fine. Um, I think there's a bunch of I think running backs are, besides the 49ers and specific run-heavy teams, I think running backs are becoming very, very, not obsolete, but people are not depending on them as much as they used to. Like, the bell cows in today's game, I mean, it's only really Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, Derrick Henry, and that's about it. Everybody else is more of a versatile back where they can catch it out the backfield you can line them up outside and all that extra stuff so um the running back the running back itself the position has changed over the years so it's not the same but let's check out the database here um let's go to the halfbacks apply the filter i wish they can give us the rest of the ratings for these cars um because we only see a few ratings sadly but um it looks like okay of course chris mccaffrey 91 speed um, Nick Chubb, 90 speed. Derrick Henry, 91. Saquon got 92. ETN has 93. How's ETN faster than Saquon, which is interesting. Uh, what else we hit? Kenneth Walker has 94 speed. All right. Um, Pacheco has 93. 94, 93 speed for Jason Jonathan Taylor. Oh, okay. That's an interesting name that I didn't see. So Jonathan Taylor comes in at 11. Raheem Mostert at 12. Tony Pollard at 13. Dang, that's crazy. Shout out to Tony Pollard. <laughs> He is a Tennessee Titan. I would have never knew that he would be a Tennessee Titan. I thought he would be a Cowboy for a very long time. But apparently, that's not what Dallas thought. Alvin Kamara, 
Yeah, 85 overall. DeAndre Swift, 85. How is DeAndre Swift at 85 overall? I have no clue. Um, well, actually, he should be higher. DeAndre Swift should be way higher than that. Not going to lie. He was a beast in the beginning of the season. But then towards the ending, he just kind of tailored off and he wasn't as good. But I feel like it, he... I feel like he wasn't as good because of the team, because they were just calling bullshit plays. So actually, I feel like Swift should be a little bit higher, to be honest with you. I feel like he should be in the top 10. You can take, I'll take Isaiah Pacheco, even, yeah, I'll put him in like the eighth or ninth spot, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. And then you have Brees Hall. He was projected to be a really, really good running back last year. Kind of disappointment. Jameer, Jameer Gibbs was a beast, like, he could easily crack the top ten too. Yeah. So I actually forgot a, I actually forgot a couple couple names. My bad. But yeah, Jameer Gibbs, Swift. Yeah, like those two, I could I could replace some people in the top ten and put them in the top ten for sure because they they had some monster years and Bijan as well too. He only has an eighty two, which is interesting. Okay, I guess I guess because he was a rookie, so they're like, okay, he's a rookie, so he can't crack he can't crack the top ten. But if he has a season like he had previously. Um, he's probably going to crack the top 10. Um, James Cook, we all know that card from Madden 24. Um, very, very good card, but this is not ultimate team, though. Ezekiel Elliott with a 79. <laughs> Don't do my boy Zeke, Zeke like that. <laughs> but um, as far as ratings, some of the ratings make sense. It's just, like I said, Jameer Gibbs and Swift, I feel like they should be higher. And I could easily, you can easily swap out Pacheco. Pacheco and... Yeah, Kenneth Walker, Aaron Jones, like those, like those three could easily be swapped out for different people. Not gonna lie. But as far as the top five, I agree, I agree with the top five for sure. Um, but let me know down in the comment section who got snubbed. What position do you think? Um, what player you think should have been in what position? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Um, but that is gonna be pretty much the top ten running backs. Um, the next uh, ratings. I'm not sure if it's going to be defensive the tackle, defensive the ends, whatever, but trust and believe I'll have that video uploaded for you guys so you guys will know. So make sure you guys have your notifications on. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to show love, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.